how how are they heathens when they're keeping the Sabbath day or the seventh day? And it was known in parts of the America, Americas. Okay. So let's go and prove it. That's a, it's part of the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 1. It says, And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. The Lord our God <clears throat> made a covenant with us in Harab, which is the same place as Sinai. It's just another name. The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. I stood between the Lord and you at that time to show you the word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire, and went not up into the mount, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Okay. So, uh, verse 12 Deuteronomy 5 and 12 it says keep the Sabbath day the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God in it thou shalt not do any work thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thine ox, nor thine ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out of thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Okay. All right. Then in uh, Leviticus twenty-three. All right. This is Leviticus twenty-three and one. It says, "And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and it's a lot, and say unto them concerning the feasts." Of the Lord, which ye have proclaimed to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath day of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Okay, that's right. So why would it say that the Indians in Nicaragua refrain from all work on the days dedicated to religious festivals and the same custom existed among the Peruvians that it may be very probable that the Sabbath of the seventh day was known in parts of America if they weren't Israelites. You see, that's why the scriptures tell you to study, man. Alright. This is, um, a lot. This is Exodus 31 and 12. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. It is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that do sanctify you. The word sanctify means to make holy. Okay? And the word holy means to be separate. Okay, or consecrated, which means to be separate or pure. And the only, the only holy people are the Israelites. Okay, so those natives, all right, of Nicaragua and of, and of the Peruvians, okay, the Nicaraguans will be of the tribe of Zebulon, all right, and the Peruvians will be of the tribe of, of Asher. They kept the, the Sabbath day. Of the, the Sabbath of the seventh day, all right, because they were Israelites, okay, like the scriptures say, all right, Exodus 31 and 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also 
unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that do sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath day, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defile it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. Holy to the Lord, whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Okay. All right. And one more. Okay. This is, um, it's a lot. This is Exodus 35, verse 1 to 3. It says, it's a lot. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord commanded that ye should do. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the Sabbath day. Okay. That's plain, man. That's plain. Okay. This is Romans 2. You can't get around it, man. You can't get around it. So, you know, any clown out there that's teaching anything else, they're going off, man. Okay. Now, this is um Romans 2 and 11. Now, I start I get to the point. Verse 13, it says, "For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified for when the Gentiles, which the word Gentiles means foreigner, okay, which the ten tribes will be considered Israelite foreigners because we was we were we were uh, far away from our land, making us foreigners. Okay, it says when the Gentiles, which have not the law, okay, do by nature the things contained in the law, which the law was only given to the children of Israel. These have not the law or a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law with written in their heart, meaning in their minds. Their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts, the meanwhile excusing or else ex accusing or excusing one another. Okay. So why would they do those things which are written in the law unless they were Israelites? Okay, so I'm going to read this, at, uh, this insert one more time and I'm going to uh, finish out on this part of the video series. It says, o Ovidu says that the Indians of Nicaragua were refrained from all work on days dedicated to religious festivals. The same custom existed among the Peruvians. That it was very profitable, okay, that the Sabbath of the seventh day was known in some parts of America. Alright? So, you, you natives of Central America, alright, that's of Mayan descent, okay? You are Israelites of the tribe of Zebulon, and you natives uh, down there from uh, Colombia to Uruguay to Brazil, that y'all are uh, children of Israel, the tribe of Asher, okay? And y'all was keeping the Sabbath day, okay, when the Spaniards came and they observed that, and only people the Sabbath was given to was the children of Israel, and only people that would observe it naturally I, if, even if they lost, uh, what's that word? Lost uh, knowledge of of like a sp specific day, but yet they kept it. Will be Israelites. Okay. 
Okay. This is um Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Okay. So whoever takes knowledge to this, the Lord wants them to be saved who is of the elect. Okay. Because only the elect of our people will hear this and accept the fact that they're Israelites. Two-thirds of y'all going to reject it. So to hell with you. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Okay. For they be ignorant of God's righteousness and going going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Okay, because you still gonna have some even after they see this and that's a that's a clear fact, they still gonna be zealous for whatever madness they're in and not acknowledge the truth. The truth is that you natives of Central and South America are Israelites. Okay. And y'all kept the Sabbath proving y'all Israelites. Okay. So with that I want to give all praises to you. How about Shemel Shai? Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Taught me this truth. Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth in sincerity. Alright. This is the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina saying Shalom.